Hello and welcome to the video on Power BI. In this video on Power BI, let us see the implementation of dynamic top end selections. Let us start. For the purpose of displaying you the dynamic top end selections, I am using a data model which has two tables. One are one is country and the other one is internet sales USD. As you can see, these two tables are related by country ID. Now going to the design part. As you can see, these two tables have the following columns. The country table has country ID and country. And the internet sales USD has sales amount, product category, country ID, year, date, and country. Of course, we are not going to use all the columns that are present in internet sales USD. Instead, we will be using a couple of columns like country ID and sales amount. Now that we are going to display dynamic top end selections in this, we can first create a chart that shows the sales amount in the country. So as you can see, this chart gives me the sales amount by country. But then there is no any way that I can filter out for the top n countries. Now that I just want to control my display based on the selection of top n that I make. Let us see how to do that. For the purpose of selecting the top n values, we need a column gives the desired top end values. So I'm just creating a table with the name top end. Of course column name is also going to be top end. So I have the values of 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. So once this table is created, it starts getting displayed here as a separate table. Now that we can add this column as a slicer in the data model. Now that I do not want the slicer to be displayed as a slider. I'll just display this as a list so that it will be better so that it is better displayed in the PBIX file or in the report. Now that as you can see 2 is selected. Now I'm changing the selection to 4, 6 and nothing happens with the chart. Now let us see how to control this top end selection to reflect in the chart below. For this purpose, there are four steps that are to be done. The first step is catching the value that, that is made by the selection in this place. And the second step is comparing it with this chart, that is the sales amount by tracking the sales amount in as one, two, three, four. Once that is done, we will have to again compare the rank and the selected top end value to define if it is selected or not. And the fourth step is to make it control the visual. So for the first step we need to do the top, we need to catch the selected top end value. So for that purpose I'm creating a new measure called as selected top end number. Here what I'm defining is if it is having a value that is now that we want to select the top end. So if we are what we are doing is we are just checking if the top end table has some value. In that case, it is going to select minimum of top end value. Otherwise, it is going to by default select n. Okay, so this bracket has to be closed here. So doing which the selected top end measure becomes right. Now that you are defining if I'm going to select something in this chart, select it in this measure. Otherwise, keep 10 as the default value that is selected in the measure. The first step is done. The second step is ranking my country based on sales amount. So I'm just creating one more measure called country rank by amount. For this purpose, I need a measure in the name of amount. So I'm just creating one more measure here as amount which is going to just have the sum of sales amount. So that I have an amount measure available, I am just going to rank my amount measure based on uh, based on the uh, based for the for the country. So for this purpose, what I should, since we are going to 
rank the amount in the country, you will have to first check if country has any value in it. So we are checking the same here. Once this is checked, we will have to define what if there is a value in the country. For this purpose, we are creating a rank here. Here, as it says, rank X of it is asking for a table. Now that we want the entire country table to be selected for this purpose. So once this is done, it is going to ask us for an expression based on which this rank has to be calculated. So we are giving amount measure as our expression. And then order something which is not very required. So we are giving it as optional. And then in ties, we are defining it as ascending. Sorry, we can give it as descending. So now that our rank is ready, we will have to go and do the final step where we will compare this rank with the selected top n value. For that, I'm creating one more measure where I'm saying this measure should be enabled if my and if my reflections has to work on my visual. For this, I'm testing the logical test, which is the expression like my country rank by amount should be less than or equal to the selected top n number. If this is true, give the solution as 1 and if it is false, give the result set as 0. Now that our country to be included measure is ready, we are, as you can see, this measure, this filter doesn't take any effect on my visual until now. Now that my country rank is available, select a top n number is cached in a, in a measure and a country to be included is defined here. I am just going to use this country to be included measure as a visual filter. So here I am defining that this value should be equal to 1. Only then, if this condition satisfies, only those countries will be displayed in my visual. As soon as I apply my filter, my visual gets filtered for the selections that I make. Now that I'm going to select two, this is going this is going to show me only top two countries. Selecting four will give me only top four countries. Selecting six is going to give me. Sorry, in all these cases, bottom four is happening. Just a small change to make. Here, instead of descending, I can put it as, put it as ascending. The moment I do this, it is going to give me the top 6 values. And here it shows me the top 10 values. So that's all in this video of the Power BA. If you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe for more videos.